Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia Hernandez. Thank, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate that. And today's video is about makeup products that are not cruelty free. And I'm going to show you the products I'll be using. I'm going to show you the makeup products I'll be using to create this look right here. And also, I just want to get rid of just, um, I just want to show you like the makeup, the non- the not cruelty free makeup products that I have in my makeup collection because I still do currently have some left so I just want to use them up and then you know do an empty video and then throw them away and I'm probably and I'm not going to repurchase them because they're non cruelty free even though they do perform very well they're not cruelty free I don't want to support these makeup companies so that's why I'm doing this um, so that's a little bit of the insight. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So the first product that I'm going to use is going to be the CoverGirl Pomade. And this is in 705. It looks like this. It had a little uh, applicator cap attached to this. But I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I don't, I don't really like it, how it applies. I don't really like the brush, so I'm not like worried about it. But this is how it looks like from the inside, and that's my first. So this is the first non-cruelty-free product in my makeup collection so far. So I'm just going to go in. So I'm going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows. And I would like to mention that if my eyebrows look a little bit irritated, it's because, you know, they are. <laughs> I did my eyebrows, so... Yeah, that's why, you know, I was, um, I used the tweezers, so they're, they're a little bit irritated. I'll cover them up, I'll cover them up with some concealer, but this, the, the spoolie that I'm using, this is the only spoolie that I have in my collection. And um, this is by Benefit, and it works really good, so maybe later, in the future, I'll buy a different spoolie, but right now, this gets the job done. So I'm just, um, I put a little bit of the product, the CoverGirl pomade on the brush and go ahead and use it on my eyebrow. So I'm really looking forward to not having these non cruelty free makeup products in my makeup collection. Not I don't just want to throw them away because I did spend quite a bit of money on these products. I'm going to do this eyebrow half camera and I'll be right. Alright, so both of my eyebrows are done and I'm just going to use, um, I usually set them with some type of gel, but all of the gel eyebrow products that I have are actually cruelty free. The only one that I found that was non cruelty free is this. This um, this is called Revlon Brow Fantasy by Color Stay. This is in light brown. This is not my color at all. But you know, I just want to use it up because I know it was. I spent money, spent money on this product, so I'm just gonna help go ahead and use it. So I'm done with the Revlon Brow Fantasy. I'm done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I do not have a eyeshadow primer that is non-cruelty free. They're all cruelty free. So I'm just gonna use um, concealer, non-cruelty free concealer. This is by Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm almost through with it. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this on my eyes. So I'm gonna grab this brush by Inglot 22T. Looks like this, and I'm gonna grab some concealer. <laughs> So I'm going to use this to set my concealer on my eyelids. I'm going to use the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in medium. It looks like this. 
And I'm just going to use my brush that I, that I always use. This brush is by Crown Cosmetics and it was in my Ipsy Glam Bag long ago when I used to be subscribed to Ipsy. I'm kind of thinking about going back, but I'm not sure yet. So going forward to my eyeshadow, I'm going to show you these, or I'm going to be using these two eyeshadows to apply to do to create like an eyeshadow look with these two palettes and these are by covergirl this is by covergirl the true naked peach punch eyeshadow palette and this is by rimmel london magnify eyes crimson edition it is still still smells like peaches it smells really good so i'm gonna use this color right here to apply and i'm gonna use to set that um color the shade I'm gonna use the Anastasia double ended, you know, brush. And I set this on my um, eyebrow bone area. I'm gonna use this peach color right here, this one, to apply it as my first transition shade. And I'm gonna use the other end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, the blending fluffy brush, blending brush side of it, and I'm just going to apply this wherever you apply your, you know, your transition shade, which is mostly everywhere, and I do, I like this palette a lot, it just smells like peaches, and I like the colors, and small palette, <clears throat> doesn't take up a whole lot of room, and as you can see, the shades are pretty good. They're easy to blend out, except that, you know, it's not cruelty, it's not cruelty free, so. So that's why I'm going to try to use it up and try to hit pan with these makeup products. And in the near future, I can do like an empty video of all my not cruelty free makeup. And yeah, and then I'm never going to buy them again. <laughs> Actually, the only bad side is that it does have this palette has quite a bit of fallout, as you can see right here. But I went in with this color, as you can see, and I'm just applying it on my outer V area just to darken it up a little bit more. So, this is how it's looking right now. Still need to apply more on this eye. So I think I'm gonna go in for a halo, halo eye shadow look. I think. <laughs> Let's see how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna apply this very dark brown. Anastasia Beverly Hills brush this side of it and I'm applying that peach color like on my crease. I'm gonna take that brown. This one first and this one on my crease. So now I'm going to apply 
more of that dark color, dark brown. Just gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use the Rimmel London um, Mag Magnify Eyes eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna use. Um, well, I'm gonna use. I don't know which one to use. I'm gonna use this one first. Then I went ahead and applied this color, this bronzy color. Like this, yeah, there. Like here and here. Okay, so I'm done with my eyes. I'm gonna prime my face. I don't have a non cruelty free um, primer, face primer, so I'm gonna use this MAC Prep Press Prime Fix Plus. Um, setting setting spray as a primer because I, it is also prep you can use it as a you know primer I'm gonna set that in face and I'm going to spray my eco tools beauty sponge and the only um, foundation that is non non cruelty free in my makeup collection is this uh, Avon True Color. It's like this. It has a little pump, which I like. Um, I don't like that it's throughout the day it gets oily, and I already have oily face, so that's not good. So what I do is use I use um what's that called? A powder, a face powder, and I also bake just to minimize the oiliness. Oh, I think it might be too dark, but it's okay, I can use concealer. I'm done with my foundation and for our concealer I'm gonna use the Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. The one that I used on my um, eyebrows. My eyebrow bone I mean. I'm gonna apply this under my eyes and my nose bridge. My forehead. And right here just because I just feel that foundation it might be too um, light, I mean dark. Okay, I'm gonna use the same beauty sponge to blend out my concealer. So I like a uh, very bright under eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fit Me um, Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in Fair. This is not in Fair. This, their Age Rewind Concealer is not in Fair. This is light. So, this just looks, the Fair one looks, um, more light than the Age Rewind. <laughs> I'm done with concealing concealer and to set my concealer and foundation I'm gonna use the Maybelline shine free loose powder this is in medium like I said this is the only non cruelty free powder that I have in my makeup collection so I'm gonna go ahead and use that with this brush that I mentioned before actually I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna use this uh, beauty sponge again, and I'm gonna tap the powder, the loose powder, 
to my face. Just feel like um, that's a better application. So I'm going back to my eyes. For my under eye, I'm going to apply the... Going back to the CoverGirl eyeshadow palette, the Peach, peach Punch palette. I'm going to use this pink, this peach, peachy color on my under eye. I'm gonna apply a second color, and that's gonna be the this shimmer shade right here. I'm gonna use stamping motions to apply that color. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna use this highlighter from the Peach Punch highlighter highlighter or highlighting palette highlighter palette by CoverGirl. So eyeshadow. To apply the highlighter, I'm going to use the, this very tiny eyeshadow brush. This is uh, by Beauty Professionals, Beauty, Beauty Professional Cosmetics, and it's actually called a portable liner because, ta-da, you pull it apart and put it back together. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to apply this, blend it out on my eyebrow bone area. Very cute. Apply this on my inner corner to highlight my inner corners. Oh, I'm still gonna use this um, palette highlighting. Even though it says highlighter palette, it also comes with um, bronzer and a uh, blush. The blush is like a shimmer, has shimmer in it. But the bronzer looks kind of, it looks matte. So, so I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit. I'm going to use the MUA Professional brush. And I'm going to use the bronzer from that palette. Bronzer on my neck a little bit. And then for my nose, I'm going to... To apply the bronzer on my nose, I'm gonna use this medium brush, medium blending brush. Oh, I forgot to apply <laughs> mascara. I'm not gonna, I usually, I really don't wear false lashes. I'm just going to use this All May One Coat Thickening Mascara. Oh, and by the way, this is the only non cruelty free mascara that I have in my makeup collection. Also go, I'm gonna apply what's it called? I'm gonna apply CoverGirl CoverGirl Brown Eye Makers, this pencil, eyeliner pencil, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this eye pencil away because I forgot that I don't like it and it's really hard to make it work so I'm probably gonna throw this away I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to apply another coat of the All May Want Coat Thickening Mascara to make my lashes even more thickening and voluminous Okay, so going back to the CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter Palette I'm going to apply the blush And that is very pigmented, so you want to go in with a light hand. To apply the highlighter on my, this area, 
my cheekbone area. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals um, brush. It looks like this. So now I'm gonna set my face with using the Fix Plus by MAC again, by MAC Cosmetics. Yeah. This is my favorite color for my lips. This is by Superstay. This is by Maybelline. And it's called Superstay Matte Ink. And this is in shade 135 Globe Trotter. And I love this color on me so much. And if you guys know, if, if you ladies know of a makeup brand that is similar to this color that is cruelty free, just let me know, very, please. I would like to purchase that. I'm gonna highlight my cupid's bow, which I forgot to do that. So that is it for this video, and <clears throat> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please <clears throat> give this video a thumbs up, and also comment down below any questions that you may have. And I actually like all the products that I used to make this um, look but they're not they're not cruelty free which is a bummer um, so I'm gonna so I'm going to use them up and once I'm through I'm gonna throw them away I'm never gonna buy them again because they're not cruelty free but they were uh, pricey I mean even though there was <clears throat> some drug drugstore and products in there <clears throat> drugstore products makeup is kind of is getting kind of expensive so i'm not going to just throw that makeup away because that's just like throwing money away <clears throat> except for the covergirl um eyeliner which the eyeliner pencil um i don't like that and they're all in the formula it's really bad <clears throat> so i'm really i'm gonna throw that away um but uh, yeah anyways um i'm probably gonna do like an empty video of these products in the future <clears throat> so keep an eye out for that video and I hope you have a magnificent day and take care and live life to the fullest and I'll see you guys next time with another video